Today, we're going to be playing with dragons. So I decided to bring out all my dragons. Look at these dragons. There's little dragons on there. See? Dragons. This is kids. Dragons. It's all about smoky dragons, actually. So hello and welcome to Donnie Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is one of several that I've gotten from Dragon Con. This one was from three or four years ago, I believe. And we actually had to get this from the um, their mart that they have. It's, it's huge, like three or four floors. We had to get it there because Dragon Con didn't have coffee mugs that year. In fact, I don't think Dragon Con has had a coffee mug that we didn't have to buy from the mart for a couple of years now, which is really sad. Hi, Sora. Sora's hungry. Anyway, in our coffee mug, our Dragon Coffee Mug, is the Steep Echo Ascent Caffeine Free a vibrant blend of immune boosting olive leaf mingled with the slight bite of cinnamon, smooth vanilla extract, and sweet notes of monk fruit. A balanced yet lightly spiced flavor that brings a heightened awareness to the everyday. And so yes, olive leaf, uh, vanilla bean, cinnamon, natural vanilla flavor, natural monk fruit flavor. So I don't use actual monk fruit in this, but, but it was in a temple. I don't know how well it's going to do in this mug. It didn't really seem like there was a lot in that temple, but uh, as I recall, it was in my big box over here, so I must have liked it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a sip so we can get started. It smells nice. I can smell the cinnamon. Hmm. It's actually very nice. I had some delays to my opening that I'm doing right now. So this is actually pretty much at full uh, flavor. That is really nice. I'm glad I kept it. All right, so today we're doing a reading ready, which means of course this look is gonna be used in the next chapter or two that I'm reading of Assassin's Choice. And we are using a brand new palette that I warned you guys that I ordered. <laughs> in the last It's New, and that is the Fantasy Cosmetica Cradled in Ice. This is a beautiful palette. I have, I'm have i actually very surprised by a few things, but we will get into that all later. They did send a lovely card. Thank you for your purchase. We hope you love it. We'd love to hear your feedback and reviews via our website, Instagram, or email, and they have all of that stuff listed. And then on the back, it says Cerule Dragons. These dragons glide high above the water until they spot fish. Their wings then fold, allowing them to dive faster than an arrow. Prey is brought back to the nest to be consumed or shared with their hatchlings. Dragons mate for life. They make their roost in the caves and cliffs along shorelines. Spined sail, a spined sail extends from head to tail. During the morning hours, this absorbs sunlight as the dragon sleeps. While underwater, it sways back and forth to swim. They have all sorts of cute pictures on the back of this card too. And they show the little dragons hatching. That's kind of cute. So. Wings have a firm, leathery texture and are waxy coating for swimming in icy waters. The forked tail both stabilizes flight and propels swimming. So they show you that right there. Spines and scales shed naturally and can be collected for use in medicines. The Cyril Dragon lays a clutch of three to five eggs during the first frost of the winter over Time the eggs expand and crack apart. The hard shell is held together by thick translucent membrane. The hatchlings emerge during the third full moon of winter and can begin to fly by the fourth. 
Shells can be ground up into powder for use in tonics. So that's all on the back of that. That's really, I actually didn't read this when I initially got the palette. I was just so excited with the palette. I had to see my palette. So <laughs> I didn't read this back. That is really neat. This is one of those cards I have to keep. I keep a lot of my cards because I really like either the artwork or something like that. They put something like that on it or for whatever reason. So anyway, the palette is, has the same, um, Covering as, as the sleeve did. It has all the stuff on the back. It is somewhat used because I used it today. Ah, she's so pretty. She is so pretty. And this is the look that we made with it today. I will go ahead and take these off because they're kind of hiding under the eyes. We did have to use a, I, we, the royal we. I did have to use a support palette. Um, this is a palette that I, I do say early in the uh, actual get ready with me, the actual makeup, that um, I needed to have some, I can use this as a main palette, but it definitely needs to have support palettes for me to work with, and I chose a support palette to work with it. Anyway, so if you're interested in this look and this palette, or even just this makeup brand, Fantasy Cosmetica. We've been wanting to try it for a while. If you're interested in any and all of that, just keep on watching. So one of the things I noticed about this palette is that uh, while it can be used as a main palette, I'm going to have to get um, something else to support it in a way. So I'm bringing in Smoke Sessions 2 as well. I'm only going to be using a couple of colors from this, like one or two. Not much. Not much at all. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And we are going to go ahead and start with Hatchling, which is this pink, and put that under the brow. Okay, so this is the YC collection. This is from their brushes. Oh, that might be a bit more pigmented than I was expecting, but here we go. No, it's quite soft, which is what I want. I want a soft color up under my brow because... We want it nice and bright under the brow. We want that to help bring some lightness, especially since when you have hooded eyes, a lot of stuff gets hidden. And that brightness can help bring some attention to that. And doesn't make your eyes appear too dark. I may not have put on enough powder. There. It's, it's it's nice and light, and that's what I wanted. I'm really looking forward to playing with the rest of this. But in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and get in smoke sessions. And we are going to get Monster Cookie right here. And we're going to put that in the crease. Um, hopefully this will work for that, because I don't want to have to do a whole lot of oh, that will work for that. So we're going to start in the crease and work up the way we do. So the colors are blending nicely, and for that to happen, both palettes have to be doing very well in the blending department. Of course, we know that Melt tends to be, you know, really nice blendable colors. So it's nice to see that our new Fantastica, Fantasy Cosmetica, Fantastica, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not even going to try this with the brushes. Um, we are going to start with um, Snuggle on the inner corner. And then we're moving to Crystal across the lid. And then we're going to finally use Embrace on the outer corner. I normally put a... Um, matte there but none of these mats really fit for what i wanted and i had plans for the other mat in here so well i could use black roses which is that burgundy-ish color 
you know what? We'll use them both. We'll put down the black roses and then we'll put embrace over it. Let's try that. Because I do stuff like that. So, but since these are nice and shimmery dual crumbs, I believe some of them are, uh, we are going to go ahead and start with, yeah, no, our glitter primer. And I'm going to put that, well, since I'm going to put that mat down, I'm just going to go two thirds across the lid because the color in the inner corner and the color on the middle of the lid are all, both going to be those shimmer shades. So we're applying that about two thirds of the way, not in the lashes. Oh, we are cooperating today, my eyes. Shh, I shouldn't say that, right? The minute I say that, they'll stop. Okay. Okay, so, like I said, I'm not even going to try using a brush. I am going to dampen my sponge tip. One little splurch. And I'm really glad this comes up with the mirror. I would have been upset. Anyway, we're like I said, we're going to start with Snuggle up here, which is sort of this almost brownish pink. Husband is home, but we're going to go ahead and work on through because I do not want this to, um, the glitter primer to dry down too much. I want to get my shades on. So, all right. So there'll be noise in the background. Especially since he's supposed to feed the cats. And they will yell at him until, they, until he does. And I did get this way. trouble getting it up on the sponge tip. Makes me very glad I didn't use the, try to use it with a brush, but it's getting there. It is on there. We're starting to get a little bit of a hole in the middle on the, where the base went. That went on nicely, though. That went on pretty nice. Okay, so let's get some of this crystal on the other end of the brush. Or sponge tip, actually. Again. That went on pretty good. Oh, this is coming up much nicer. just a little bit with the tip. Try to get some blend in there. And then go across. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. Look at that. Look at that shine. It's beautiful. All the way down. That's pretty. It's pretty. It's coming up just a little bit less purple than I thought it would come. I did swatch these before making decisions about what I was doing, but you know, things happen. All right, so 
I'm going to grab that color Black Roses out of this palette. And put that on the outer corner. You slapping around the meat, love? I think he's tired and hot. It's been a warm day. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. I'm almost afraid to do this. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. All right, getting a fresh sponge tip. Well, you know what? So I'm going to go ahead and try to use this and just sort of make a sort of a, um, like a sheer of color. We are going to get this damp. On the brush, on the brush. A sheer of sparkle. Let's see if this embrace picks up. Oh boy. Oh, I like what that did. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's beautiful. It did definitely add a bit of sparkle to that. I am going to grab some more of Crystal. bit more over this edge. Put that in there. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is this this is better than I expected. <laughs> so much better than I expected. Okay, so I am going to grab this is from my Moda Dragon set. We are going to use so a stuff between Northern Lights and Purple Goo. Northern Lights here. Looks to have a bit of a blue cast. I think we'll do that because we're going to use blue to in the actual crease. So we're going to put some northern lights up here and do our point. This is not needing to be dampened at all. That's nice. Again, it is blending very well with the color underneath. Of course, that's also from this particular palette. It's in the oven! We have a little bit of sparkle on the end of our lash. Hello. like the gradient we created. So we have the light pink, the lighter purple on the edge, and then the deeper purple going in. That's nice. That's really nice. And then we're going to get back in here again and we're going to use another matte. We're going to use this color Nest. And I'm using another dragon brush. It's almost like the triangular brushes that I have from, um, what was it, Counterculture? CC. That's no longer in existence. Still irritates me to this day. Anyway, we're going to use this brush and we're going to put this in our crease. 
climb the crease a bit. Get that little bit of a faux cut crease appearance. Just this beautiful deep blue, which is coming up very purple as it mixes with the melt colors. It's beautiful, beautiful. And we're coming out and doing a small V. Bring that some of that down. And then get that corner all nice and deep and defined. Debating on whether or not I should. Yeah, I probably should. All right, so we're gonna real quick grab one of my blending brushes. And just go along that upper part of my, from my crease up over. And just sort of, this is too big. I need a smaller one. All right, let's go along that and blend all those edges up top. Smooth everything in together a little bit. Okay, I think I add a, need to add a little bit more of that purple. Just a little bit more of that purple. like some of it brushed out so we'll just do that oh I'm really happy with that all right so I'm gonna go and do the other eye and then we will be back to talk I would think you guys already are gonna know what my opinion is be back soon all righty so this is our look I'm really I actually really really like it but let's take a look. I really, really like it. I really, really like it. Um, probably could have gone a bit lighter underneath the eyes with the purples. But I'm otherwise very, very pleased with it. So, um... The purples came from the Smoke Sessions 2, which I'm actually enjoying as a support palette more than anything. There is not, not a lot I can do with these colors all at once. This, this will probably always be a support palette for me, but it's a beautiful support palette and the colors really work very well. So let's go ahead and get into Fantasy Cosmetica and their Cradled in Ice. So, um... I did have to repair my inner corners, and to my pleasant surprise, uh, the the lighter shades like this, they're a bit smoother than, say, the um, crystal. Crystal's a bit on the chunkier side. These lighter shades seem to work okay with brushes, enough that I can go ahead and do that repair. Crystal, on the other hand, I really felt like it kind of started to fade a little bit, but um, not horribly. I just felt like maybe it's something about this color that almost seems to bring out my skin tone underneath it a bit more. I, it, it just seemed like it was fading off or my skin was showing through a bit more than I thought it was. Uh, but I did have to repair that using a sponge tip. I could not use a brush for that one. Uh, the mats were beautiful, and and um, even though I did have to repair this, this shade, it didn't, on one side it did seem to take up almost the entire little section, but on the other side it only took up a small bit. So, this does hold up to my eyes to some degree, this brand, this, or at least this palette from this brand. 
Um, I wouldn't put it up with Nomad or with Cosmic, but it is up there and it's, or even maybe um, Glamlight. I'm not even sure about Glamlight, but it is up there. It is, does hold onto my eyes really, really well. And um, I'm very pleased with it. I actually am, I'm very glad I went ahead and picked this up. This is a beautiful palette and it definitely inspires me. This look definitely, <laughs> I'm really happy with this look. I'm really happy with this look. But this palette has, uh, for me, if they come up, if Fantasy Cosmetica comes up with something else that I'm really, really into, I'd be more inclined to purchase it. I'm really glad I picked this one up. I do think, I do think, I do think that they needed, so this is supposed to be like mauves and purples, I believe. I would have to double check that. Um, and I appreciate the blues, especially the darker blue, but I do think that they could have removed this medium blue and put in maybe a regular shimmer purple, this brown I don't think needs, some people are gonna use browns. I don't see them actually really fitting in very well with this. This darker one is fine, but this lighter one could have been another pink or a purple or something more burgundy-ish on the mauve side. Um, this one, I don't know how I feel about. It's sort of a, it's almost a mauve brown, but not quite, it still looks really brown. So there's a couple colors in here I probably would have changed if I were making the palette. Now, if you're going to say something's really into the mauve tones and stuff like that, I get where the blues come from, but at least this one brown could have been taken out and um, possibly this blue right here to give us some actual um, ma a matte and a, and a regular shimmer in the purples and mauves that they were talking about. So I think those would have rounded out the palette a little better, especially if you made your purple, a lighter purple to go with this pink. I think that would have been a, more on target with what they were talking about. I, I do get it, but I mean, the only browns in here really are from the eggs down here. So I would have stuck with the dragon and the ice theme that they had the purple dragon and the ice theme. I would have been more closely related to those things and just gotten rid of, you know, those at least those two shades and put in another, you know, a shimmery purple and um, I don't know, a matte, actual pinky mauve, a deep deeper pink probably, because those these two colors are really. These two colors here are more brown. I don't, I don't, I would have liked a light purple. If you're going to keep this one, then at least make one of these, um, you know, a matte light purple, and then take the other one and make it more of a mauve red. That, that's just me. But, you know, other than that, the actual um, quality seems to be really good. The price wasn't bad. I'm not unhappy with the price. And um, I really like the way the look came out. So you'll have to let me know down below if you're interested in this palette, if you're planning on purchasing this palette, or if you don't want to tell me any of that, just leave me a nice purple heart down below. I'd love the interaction with you and to get all the purple hearts. We have someone who comes in and she likes to just, she doesn't just put one heart, she puts three or four or five, and I love it. I love to see the purple hearts, so thank you for the purple hearts. <laughs> I'm just... Purple is my color, folks. I love the purples. Anyway, that is it for today. And like I said, let me know your thoughts down below. And in the meantime, I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do, I hope you will go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. Like the video and share. I would just love it if you would do all of that. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and take a sip of our tea. And then we are going to get on out of here. All right, so like I said before at the beginning, this is probably steeped to full, but let's go ahead and give her a taste. Yeah, it's pretty close to the same. I'm getting more cinnamon. It's got kind of a sweetness behind it that I really, really like. Mm. Nummy, 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 nummy. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to put this in my bag, one of my tea bags. I got like two or three of them down there to repurchase later. And so that's it. I love my girls. I love my dragonettes. Hope you have a good one.